all right, so that's a couple of the new things. Um, the other big new thing is the course material. Um, so sorry, I haven't really sent this out earlier. So this is your required textbook for the class. Um, University Physics, Volume 3. The phrase university, it tells you that it's, uh, um, it's calculus-based physics. And it's from an organization called OpenStax. And the number one thing about this textbook that you knew is that it's free. Well, not this book, but you can access this for free, legally. <laughs> I know some of you have illegal copies of Gian Colli. <laughs> um, um, so this is the link to the textbook. If you click on this link, then, oops, let me close this. Then this is the OpenStax website. You have a bunch of way, different ways to access it. If you want to get it in a form that kind of looks like a book, you can download a PDF. Uh, let me do low resolution. You can download a PDF. In that case, I guess it kind of becomes similar to the illegal Giancoli <laughs> PDF. <laughs> um, so, so you know, you can look at the book this way. Or, oops, yeah, they, that's going to be a little bit annoying, but. Uh, you'll just have to put up with it. Um, or you can actually view it online. And because this is a free textbook, this actually allows me to embed the chapters of textbook right within your Canvas course website. So you will see that um, under modules, I have these reading modules. So if you, under chapter readings, if you go to chapter one introduction, it'll link right into your course uh, website, the chapter sections that you are supposed to be reading. So um, I'm hoping this will get more people to read the book because I think, based on my experience, I'd be surprised if more than half of my students in the past read the book. <laughs> but I think this will encourage people to read more. It's not as though you do a lot of reading already. How many of you are on social network? Facebook, Twitter? Most of you are. And when you are browsing the internet, you are doing a lot of reading. And I think people don't read the text of it because it seems like a big chunk of work. Well, when you look at it section by section, it's almost like reading online article. I mean, it's harder than online article. So these modules are embedded right into the Canvas course website. You can read the book that way. Now, if you want to actually buy a physical copy, your bookstore is supposed to have them, and it's actually um, pretty cheap for this class. I think for Physics 4A, it's still a little bit expensive, like $70. But for this class, because it's a thinner book, um, you, can, um, so you, you can buy it from the, 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 our bookstore. If you go to the bookstore, you look up this course. How many of you actually already bought the book from bookstore? Yeah, nobody did. I mean, I think even in the past, no one actually bought the books from bookstore. <laughs> but uh, so, however you want to read the book, it, it's fine with me. It, uh, if uh, having a physical copy makes it easier for you to read the book, then by means to do. And I just want to show you how cheap it is now. This is how much it costs to, to get a physical copy. If you want to buy it new, if you want to buy this, that's a 33 point, less than $35. If you want to just rent it, use it for a semester, it's $7. I don't know how they have used the copy. Um, so if you want a physical textbook, it's also pretty cheap because the digital version is free. So, so that's the other big thing that's new. Uh, we, this is the first semester we are teaching with this free textbook. So, um, so let me know how it goes. If you are finding um, either the explanation in the book is you know, not clear, or if you find any typos, let me know um, so that I can report it to the publisher and they can continue to improve it. Um, these books are kind of new. I think the first year they published it was either 2014, 2015. This, they, this particular book has not been around that long. So I do expect to find more typos just because of that. 